Hello indie game fans, welcome back to I Dream of Indie. Get ready to start your engines because today we are taking a look at Inertial Drift from developer Level 91 Entertainment and published by P-Cube Limited. This one will be released as of September 11th of 2020. It's an arcade style racing game that will also be available on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. I say this is an arcade racer, and it is to a degree, but there is something quite unique about this title. You actually use the right stick to do a lot of drifting. Drifting is the main focus of this game. There's tons of tight corners to be mastered. You have to drift to the left and the right, and that can mess with your brain a little bit at first, but eventually I did get the hang of things. Making it even more challenging is the fact that there's 16 different cars, some of which will need to be unlocked in this title, and they all feel pretty different from one another. It surprised me, actually. The initial car that I tried out was fairly sensitive to that drift feature, but not completely out of control. However, as I selected some of the different cars, the more and more that I unlocked and played the game, boy was I in for a surprise. I was spinning and drifting completely out of control at times. There's over 20 different tracks in this game, and you can also play them in reverse, and there's also a single player story mode for you to go through and it's essentially a series of different challenges. You might find yourself racing against a ghost car at some point, it might be a head-to-head -head race, or it might be one of the game's other challenges which include trying to outduel a car which essentially means just staying ahead of them long enough to claim victory, or even getting involved in a stylistic challenge. The more drift that you can perform and the more style points that you score, the more likely you are to win. In total, you have seven different race types here to go through, so there is a pretty good variety of different attractions in this game. Inertial Drift does feature an online mode, so you can go head-to-head -head against live opponents, but you can also play the game locally in split-screen if that's more your scene. Mechanically, on the whole, everything starts and ends with that drifting feature. It does take some time to get used to it. You're going to have to learn to retrain your brain a little bit for this one if you're more accustomed to standard arcade racers. But once you do, you can land some satisfying drifts. And yes, the AI will likely destroy you at first, but eventually you'll get the hang of things. And overall, I like the feel of this game. Graphically, Inertial Drift is set in a 90s retro-inspired world, and I really love that about the game. It fully embraces the nostalgic colors of that era. The game looks great, actually, with some beautiful cell-shaded graphics. The cars all look unique from one another. All of the tracks are pretty distinct as well. The developers done a really good job of implementing different types of tracks, and I don't think this game really takes advantage of PC hardware necessarily, but it gets the job done. There's a few settings to pick between. I was able to run the game at 4K 60 and in my opinion performance is king, so I was happy with that. I will say the soundtrack is a little bit of a dud though in my opinion. The looping, boring beats kind of just go on and on and drift into the background. There's a little bit of electronic music mixed over them, but they really aren't anything special. They don't really stand out. I like a racing game that has more of a high octane soundtrack, but at least the vehicles all sound good and unique from one another. The screeches and squeals are satisfying. Unfortunately, I was just not a big fan of the soundtrack. You know, between Inertial Drift and Hot Shot Racing earlier in the month, September's had some pretty good racing games. This one does have a bit of a learning curve, it's not going to be for everyone, but I still really was entertained by it, even if I wasn't the best at actually playing it. There's also a lot of content here, both out of the gate and to be unlocked, and I can definitely appreciate that. And tons of gameplay modes, that's really a key thing here. You're going to get a lot of hours out of this one, depending on your tolerance for the gameplay. There's a Grand Prix mode, a Story mode, just about everything that you would want in a racing package. So yes, Inertial Drift does have a tough learning curve, but once you get a handle of things, this one is a lot of fun. So will you be checking out Inertial Drift? Let us know in the comments section below, and if you have enjoyed our video coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box below. That includes becoming a channel member or even checking out our merchandise store. You can even chat along with us in our new Discord. However you end up supporting us, we thank you so much.